What up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Demarius Jackson and in today's video we're going to be talking about the dominant chord. More specifically we're going to go over my favorite scale to use over most dominant chords and that's going to be the altered dominant scale. So without further ado let's get right to it. So first we're going to talk about the most common scale that I've seen most beginners use over dominant chords and that's going to be the mixolydian scale. So if you know your major scales you're already set. So all you're going to do is take your major scale and look Lower the seventh scale degree. So for this example, I'm going to use A. So we're going to have an A7, an A dominant chord with an A mixolydian. It sounds like this. <laughs> and here's an example of me using that scale over an A7 chord progression. So here we go. way to learn the altered dominant scale. So as I mentioned before, if you know your major scales, you are straight. So let's first, we're going to think in A7 dominant world, but first, hear me out, we're going to practice our B flat major scale. Sounds like this. <laughs> And from there, what we're going to do is lower the third scale degree. And so what happens is that B flat major becomes B flat ascending melodic minor. So basically lower the third scale degree. That's it. Sounds like this. <laughs> All you want to do from there is now start that same scale, but on A. All right, so take your A, played A first. Then we're gonna go up a half step to the B flat and play B flat ascending melodic minor all the way up to that A. So slowly it sounds like this. So me personally, I like to think of things in terms of lowering this scale degree, et cetera, et cetera. It may not work for you. You just sometimes have to learn what's best for you. That works very easily for me. So I can take that same formula on any scale degree and apply it. So if I were to play a G altered dominant scale, I would start on the G, go up to A flat and play an A flat ascending melodic minor scale. So it sounds like this. <laughs> Another thing that I like to do is take that same scale and resolve it. So once again, we'll go back to A. If I'm playing an A altered dominant uh, scale, I want to resolve that. That's my five. I'm going to resolve it to its one, which is going to be D. Sounds like this. <laughs> Finally, one exercise that I want to leave you with is to practice these, of course, in all 12 keys, but I want you to practice it in this uh, pattern. So excuse, I'm not even going to try to sing it, but you're going to sing these or play these scale degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, seven, one. Sounds like this. <laughs> And of course, I forgot to mention it. You want to resolve that to its one chord. And once again, take this around all 12 keys. And once you get this going enough, you'll start being able to hear it and you'll forget about the melodic minor and all that other stuff. But you probably won't forget it. It'll be in your mind. At least I don't think of it this way. I just think of it as the actual scale once you practice it enough, of course. 
Another thing that you want to do is practice this in the same patterns that you practice your normal major scale. So thirds, fourths, however it is that you practice your scales, just go ahead and apply it to this scale and all scales for that matter. <laughs> So there you have it. Another way that you can practice this is over a standard B-flat blues. Once again, this is mostly for beginners, but try to use it over that fourth bar of a B-flat blues. Here's a quick example. Enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Out.